Kofi. He goes down into that top four. We go. The only solo left alive. Well, you saw him moments ago. It is going to be Seti. Cooper and Miro almost won a game yesterday. It was stole away by both Bryce and Chubbs. Now they're going for some toe tags on Apoyo and Speaks. NA counterparts going at it. I drop on the other side. He gets taken down by the NA duo. Huge shot by Miro. Trying to go back to back, but they fall down the mountain. That's going to allow for Apoyo to survive momentarily. Oh. But Cooper hot on the chase. He sacrifices himself to go for the elimination. What? Seti out of nowhere, final two teams. Miro's trying to stay alive, but there's one Buo still left alive, but it's actually a knock. Miro versus Sphinx. NA versus NA to take game number one. Incredible that NA will secure this here, but talk about the turn of events here. Miro taking down Seti, putting his name in the conversation. People forget what Miro is capable of, but now it's a 1v1. Old blood versus the new. Basically, Miro showing, hey, I'm the big dog of the region. Sphinx says, I want to prove that I can do it. We already know he's got the mouth in him, but can he put the bullets where they need to go? He needs to put some respect on his name. Miro running out of build. That's his last chance. He falls all the way down. Miro will start to settle, but our solos have gone incredibly far. Miro, Cooper, try to do it again here. Looking to make the redemption run. They got a hurt team in front of them. Off to the side they go. These are points that need to be earned. Cooper is earning his strength, oh, no. but Miro is here to back him up. He holds it down. The siphon comes in now. This is it. This is a 2v1 situation. Pixie and Cheaton, they're trying to go ahead and go against them. That's Chari there as well. An all solo endgame. Cheaton trying oh. to join Polo and Sphinx as a team with multiple wins this weekend. Back to back shots. He's already been able to get one. Miro out for redemption in that last game, but he has no materials. Zone is taking him out until the final. Miro and Cooper not looking good right now. Just a couple builds here. They're going to have to force. The agenda forced the fight. They find one on the other side. This might be the best team to do it as well. We already knew Gears was hurt. Cooper jumps into the box. He goes for it, puts it all on the line, doesn't quite find it. And Miro's here to back him up. And the wow. finish comes in. The refresh was massive. And they're right back in the game. But do they have heals? Did Cooper find anything there? It's the little details that matter. Because now that he has Materials on the side of Miro, of course. Another one. Unable to heal on up. Oh, oh there goes his teammate as well. Gears goes down. Wow. And now they're both looted and booted, ready to go ahead and continue their run. Their point lead is just growing larger and larger through most of the game. See Pixie and cheating up on that leaderboard as well. Cami and Seti still finding a way to stay alive. Then, of course, Pink and Vico. Well, after the material split, there's still going to be a fight in front of them. There's Pink was looking at him from before, wow. and they finished him just like that. And another refresh, but more importantly, it's more points, and that's a top five team. Pink and Vico have been truly heating up here today, but Miro and Cooper are just the unstoppable force at the moment in this lobby. Now they've made it to the point of the game where you're getting placement points for every team that goes down. And this is where Cooper and Miro really do shine the best. In Crowd these this games. big with this much on the line, and so is Cooper, no way. and he is still going. This could be the miracle run for Cooper. Already you're seeing the point spread. It's only them and Pixie and Cheaton at the top of that leaderboard, and 40 plus points already separating them thanks to that elimination they've been picking up, but they're on the high ground. They could be the first team to try to get three VRs on the day. They already have five eliminations, more mats than they know what to do with. Oh my Another God. elimination That's almost. Really longer than he is ending, but Nero dropping down a low ground, finding that elimination onto Vanyak. And now it's going to be Mr. Savage as well, alongside of Iyamzo, pushing all along the sides here. But Miro and Cooper, they're still managing to stay together, at least for the time being. Cooper, though, completely out oh! of the team. But that's the knock that no! they needed. He needed to finish so Cooper's starting point. Yeah, this is home territory. This is hometown. They're looking to do just that. But everyone's hurt here. But Miro and Cooper finished the job. They get another set of eliminations, the refresh that they needed. And this has been the story, game after game. They're hurt. They need an elimination. They need a refresh, and they actually find it. One of the few duos through. You see Miro making a push towards the high ground as well. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they want to play for height right here and close this chapter out. But no, things start to change. Teams start to rocket ram on up. Destruction is ever so near. 
10 nearby. He can hear the shots. Miro makes the call out. This guy's hurt. I'm going for it. I can use these materials. Five to one build, but no, another team below him. Has to back up now. For a moment there, it was almost all over. Shots come in again. This time, Hen claps back for a little bit. And it is getting very, very dangerous here. Bryson Chubbs are still standing. Vico and Pink still in this as well. Decent discipline, though, from Miro to not try and push that situation any further. He knew that Cooper was simply too far away to actually play backup, and they don't want to necessarily put it in this positioning. Storm Surge actually is going to be Miro and Cooper's best friend. Another four points to be added in Where the Eliminator. one to his right. No one's behind the plane. So smart right now. Miro comes dashing through here into another end game. It's all placement points from here. Cooper as well, landing just slightly further apart from his duo, but they found their moment. Good chop of the builds there onto Chicho. Going to displace him momentarily. Miro nearly managing to collect in the process. Trulix now forced to rocket ram away. Cooper and Miro finally getting a chance to reunite here, but they've got to keep pressing forward. They can't take a moment to pause or relax. So many people Cooper in. turns around, burns down Vico, the savior of his run. He's still on fire here. Cooper now by himself, trapped in the storm, and he falls inside the top 15. The Earth, every team that falls now, will push teams closer and closer to more pricing. Keep in mind though, Mira and Cooper, they might just run into Muzz, and Muzz, he lost paper earlier on. Don't believe he's had an opportunity to look for the reboot either, based on when paper was picked off. So now Miro in the backside, Mustache and Taysen's box. He could go massive here. He wants to find the shot to connect. Both teams gonna get dropped another layer here. Inside the box though, it's gonna be Taysen first to fall. Cooper and Miro just continue to grow the count. 324 points currently on the leaderboard. And Cooper, despite no way. having been knocked, Miro still going. No way, but he finds Kylie there too with a huge finish. And his teammate gets finished off now too. Shot from the side here, he has no more build. He needs this refresh. If not, it's over, and down he goes. There is still a runway in front of Cami and Seti. Wins the game with nine elims. You gotta love it, but your global champions are here. Miro and Cooper from day one getting knocked out of the upper bracket to standing tall here in day number three, our championship Sunday. Your 2023 global champions even, Miro and Cooper. Cooper looked up to Miro, reached out to Miro, asked him to play as his duo, and who would have thought it would have been a million dollar coin flip? Congratulations, Miro. Congratulations, Cooper. You are a 2023 global champions. Lift that trophy! How amazing it must feel! How great to be the global champions! Miro and Cooper, you have done it! Through the ups, through the downs, this weekend, this entire tournament is yours! Everything was for this moment! Cooper, it's your first time here! But you have certainly left your mark on everyone in this building. Your first ever land, and you are a global champion. Deal. We just have your FNCS global champions right here on the stage. Royal Arena, make some noise for your global champions, Miro and Cooper. Guys, first off, let's go, guys! <laughs> let's go, you did this! This was, you guys have worked so hard. Let's first shine a light, the coin toss. Talk to me about this coin toss. How did this all go? Is this real? Is this yeah. made up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, I, I didn't really want to play the game too much no more. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing nothing better. I'm getting a teammate and I'm, I'm coming back. I don't care. Like, I just was. I flipped the coin and I was like, all right, we'll find a Cooper. I mean. <laughs> Coop, <laughs> you, did you think back then a coin flip would lead to a million dollar FNCS global championship title? I mean, not at all. I mean, back then I only had 5K earned when we started playing. Oh my God. You gotta up that number now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just mentioned it right there. You were a very underrated player, 5K earned when you started playing with Miro. 
Tell me what it's like to play with someone like him. What's he taught you about the game to get to this stage? Uh, Mero's taught me so much. I mean, whenever we first started playing, it was my first time ever IGLing. Um, but being wow. with the best fragger to ever touch the game kind of comes easy, you know? It's, <laughs> it was great, man. <laughs> I've learned so much. Wow. I mean, Miro, landing Rumble Ruins, Unconned, it definitely seemed to give you guys such a big advantage. How did you guys use that for your success in all six games? Um, I mean, I wouldn't really say our drop spot was an advantage. Uh, some games we were leaving with like no mats and everything. I say just being confident, honestly. Like I know I'm the best in this lobby, 100%. I, I came into here, I was thinking like after last Inventational, I did bad, I was down. Like I, I felt so down, but then I realized I'm like, I got not one, but two, but three, but four, but five FNCS wins, make it six. Now <laughs> I, I just need to be confident. I played confident, I was just running around killing people, eliminating people, sorry. I, I, we did what we had to do, honestly, like, that's all I can say. Honestly, this feels so insane that I hope everybody in the world gets to experience something like this. This is insane. Like, I've never thought from playing video games when I was, like, a little kid to just sitting on stage in front of this many people is insane. Like, I can't even imagine how many people are watching me right now. This is insane. My mom's watching back home. I love you, mom. Love my whole family. This is insane. Cooper? Absolutely insane. Feels great. It feels great. For the fans out there, what will you tell them? Let them know. Keep moving, man. Life's gonna knock you guys down so many times, even outside of playing video games, and it's just about getting back up. If you stay down, you're gonna stay down. Like, that's how it works. You gotta, just gotta get up and keep moving. That's my best advice.